The Flynn effect is the tendency for IQ scores to increase over time by about three IQ points per decade. This was first noticed in the 1930s, but James Flynn popularized the phenomenon in the 1980s, and the authors of the bell curve named it after him in 1994. The Flynn effect is a puzzling phenomenon because it implies a level of increased intelligence that is simply unbelievable. Three IQ points per decade would mean that the average person a century ago would score at a level that would place them in the bottom 2% of intelligence today and make them at risk for a diagnosis of a mild intellectual disability. Projecting back even further leads to some absurd conclusions, such as the idea that everyone in Shakespeare's time would have been so severely disabled that they could not have used the restroom or mastered spoken language. That simply isn't possible. Psychologists have learned much about the increase in IQ scores since James Flynn brought greater attention to it. We understand now that the increase in abilities is not based on general intelligence, but on other cognitive abilities that contribute to IQ, such as fluid reasoning or pattern recognition. It is also understood now that there is not a single cause to the Flynn effect, but one important cause is increased education. Flynn described how education teaches a person to think abstractly and to see the world through what he calls scientific spectacles. This mode of abstract thinking leads people to search for the rules behind intelligence test questions, which greatly increases how many questions they can answer correctly. These scientific spectacles are a great way to improve problem solving, but they are not as apparent outside of testing situations. This is why IQ scores can go up without the massive increase in intelligence that the Flynn effect would imply.